Hello and welcome to the BI WizKid YouTube channel. Today we're looking at syncing slices across multiple pages of your Power BI report. Now previously the only way to do this was to use the report level filters, but now we've got something new, something cool, something quite exciting. So I'm going to get into this straight away. So first of all, this is my HR department Power BI report. And I've added a job classification filter at the top here. And at the moment, you can see there's 902 current employees. But if we filter this down to, let's say, for example, our administration staff, of course, this will affect the rest of the, the page, filter it down and only show us those nine current employees. Now, if I jump over to my sickness detail tab, this, again, is based on the same number, same 900 employees and at the moment it still shows 902 employees now so if we go back to our home page and under our view tab we've got a new little area here new little option called sync slices okay so if we select that that'll open up a new pane next to our visualization tabs over here i'm just going to close this tab for now to make a bit more space okay and as I select my job classification, it will bring up these little icons over here. So we've got our sync icon, which is this one here. Now we're going to sync that one with our same our home page. And we're also going to sync that with our sickness detail page as well. OK, so now if I go over to our sickness detail report. This should now filter down to our nine employees in that particular department. Okay. Now what that's actually doing is creating a slicer on that page. So when we sync across any other page, it creates a slicer on that page and hides it automatically unless we tick this box over here, the eyeball. Now if I was to tick this box here and jump over to our sickness report, Now the filter and slicer will appear on the page, as you can see at the top here, and we'll filter down to administration. And again, we can change this. Have a look at management. Look at the number of employees we've got in that job classification. And once that's updated and we've got the detail around that, we can go back to our home page. And because we've selected it to sync across back to the home page and the sickness detail page. It will carry that through and also show us the 71 employees in management. Okay. Now this is a great way to, this is a really sort of exciting feature um, and similar to, to Excel reports that people have created in the past where you can now create a home page set your slices at the beginning and then have that filter all the way across all of your reports another thing is that you can also pick and choose which page you want it to affect essentially you don't want it to affect all the pages because you'll have different pages for different reports and different styles so we've got two more reports here that I don't want it to affect and it won't be affecting those and those can be left as they are but if I didn't want them to appear on there, I could have them filtered in the background or I can have them visible on there to sync back and forth as well. OK, now you don't need to do anything to enable this. You don't need to enable any features in the options. Uh, you may need to update to the latest version uh, of the Power BI desktop if you um, are downloading from the website but if you have downloaded it from the Windows App Store then that should update straight away for you and it is the February 2018 version that you will need for this feature okay hope that's all right for you guys and check you guys soon